Hello and welcome back to episode 26 with me, Jurassic. Hope you are doing well. Today we've got a big plan for this area over here. We're going to be making a tavern. It's a very special tavern for me and it is for one of you lovely subscribers out there. You are going to be the face of this tavern and that's meant in a nice way. So we are going to be building a tavern based on uh, Blue Nerd Minecraft. Uh, he's got an awesome build and I, I'll always put the description down below. Um, we're going to be copying it relatively closely but we're also going to be putting our own spin on things, especially on the insides. So. I've collected up all of the items that I think we'll need, plus a few extras that could come in handy along the way. Uh, so I think rather than talking about it, let's get cracking and let's roll that time lapse. So I spent a bit more time working on the front look of our tavern here and I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. We've got our greenery coming up and we've got this nice little border here. Sort of followed it round a little bit but I think when we do this area leading out to our log farm we'll, uh, we'll pull in the more detail there. And then around this side we've got this bit which will get changed but up here we come up into, oh, I thought that was a creeper, uh, come up into a little storage area, going to get some hay bales to go there and then this back part is, is really a facade at the moment um, but I've got a plan for our cellar so I'm quite happy we've got that extra space down there at this time. Um, but yeah, looking really good and I've already named our tavern, uh, so it is the old, ye old Billy Goat Tavern uh, from Chicago for my man Guy Chicago who is a consistent watcher and subscriber and always makes a comment which is always appreciated, gotta love it, really do appreciate those comments so keep them coming in. And now we've got the inside to take care of. So we're going to start working on this and getting it looking a little bit more interesting, shall we say, because right now it is bland as can be. And we've still got all this space up in the roof as well. Forgot about that. So let's get cracking with that, shall we? So we're back outside the Billy Goat Tavern and the internals are pretty much done I think so in we come we we come into our tavern so plenty of seats everywhere for people to have a drink although no one here at the moment got our jukebox our little kitchen so everything's looking pretty smart in here and no water in the sink so definitely no customers uh yeah so this still needs to be done so we'll we'll just come back out from here and then over here we've got guy chicago he is our barman here so he's going to be serving us all of our potions throughout the rest of the season making sure we've got plenty to drink so thank you very much guy look after us 
keep us well hydrated. So thank you. And then upstairs, we've got a, you know, a space for a lot of people to stay. So I've, I've done all of the interiors. We've got a little storage area over here out to our balcony so we can see what we're going to put down here later on. And then over this way, we've got more bedrooms. So we've got a, a twin in there, another twin there, uh, a twin there as well. Oh, and then I think this one, yep, we've got bunk beds in this one. And then this one is a master, I would say, a compact master maybe. And then we've got another master in here as well, which is a bit more spacious. We've got a few of these closets where we can put all of our stuff in. So I'm really happy with how this internal's gone. Uh, and then we've got stairs up here, and this is going to give us an idea of what we're going to be using uh, the tavern for. So up here we've got our, our growing room for our nether wart. Uh, which is sort of just tricking trickling over and then we can we've got our storage up here for extras and we can just come up harvest some let's put that away and and then we've got it for later on so down back to the basement we've got some plans to take care of down here so still plenty of work to be done down here uh, but I've got a plan so I think we should jump over to our redstone testing world and I can show you what we're going to put in down here so what we're going to put down in our basement is this potion brewing system so what we've got is we've got all of our water bottles coming into our brewing stand over here and then we've got a uh, display uh, where we can choose what we want in each of our potions. Obviously, need to make sure that it is a viable potion. But if we say we want fire resistance, uh, we want it with extra power and we'd also like it to splash. We can do that and then we come over here and we press this button. And what that will do is it will send all of the items into the hopper stream so it briefly turns off this redstone line and then when it turns it back on it shoots the items which we've selected into the hopper stream which then make their way down in a orderly fashion over here so in here we've got a sort of filter that stops the items from going in in anything but the order we want and they will also come out of this hopper from left to right and then that goes into our brewing stand and will automatically brew the potions to the required uh, potion that you've asked for and then it will come into this chest what makes this uh, this system slightly different is we can it will automatically fill up this chest with a couple of extras in this hopper uh, so when these come through it will pulse or it will uh, set off the comparator here which will then do a quick fire of the um, observer which will then redo or resend a pulse through this redstone line so that will keep going until this comparator doesn't turn on and off so we just saw it fire there and then we've got another uh, uh, potion brewing which will be our fire resistance which will then back up into here and then it will stop uh, or it will fire out the observer which will do one more cycle um, but then it will stop so if we just wait and we'll see that happen there we go we just saw it pulse so we'll see one more batch of potions being brewed and then once that one's been brewed it will stop it won't continue anymore so we'll have a few extra bottles from the ones we take out here uh, but otherwise it will uh, stop there and then we can 
come and grab the bottles when we're ready to. So I think it's quite a, a smart contraption. Uh, there's a couple that it's been, so this was the original design and then we've got uh, an Impulse SV version. So just sort of wanted to take his individual module. So you'd have a module for each potion and make it into a bit more of a choice rather than building up I think about 16 different uh, modules of of that we could then sort of have it quite intuitive like sometimes you might want a, a lingering potion or you might want one with extra strength or, or whatever it is we've got the got the choice now to make that happen so gonna now put this into our basement in our tavern and we can then see it in action in our survival world I've now got the potion brewing system in place so it's looking fantastic so uh, still got to do the the decor and tidy up down here which shouldn't take me too long now I've got this in uh, but we've got our chest here for all of the items I just need to put in a little mechanism to fill up our chest with water bottles and then I'm going to have a uh, light that tells me uh, whether it's empty or full and then we've got our button here to start the whole process and then we can choose all of our main potions and then sort of the mutations of them so stronger lingering etc and then we've got our chest here uh, for filling up our nether wart so already we've got quite a good amount there um, so that's all fantastic so gonna get this all now put together and looking smart uh, gonna have a little storage wall over this side so yeah uh, we'll be back in just a second for you Oh, good morning hope you had a good rest so it's a new day and I was up very late and I've got something a little exciting to show you so we're just gonna pop out here onto the balcony and that's right I did a lot of work on our tavern garden kitchen garden I guess we'll call it so we've got our, our pond with our salmon we've got all of our vegetables around the back we've even got some pumpkins and melons as well oh and some berry bushes and i've sort of really tried to think about how this garden could in theory be used so i've put in a, a gate over here to keep our villager in and then we've got sort of our, our melons and pumpkins uh, the ones with the uh, sea cucumber on them have been picked and ready to go the others are have sort of just grown so to speak or ready to be harvested and then over here we've got some more composters a collection of grapes and berries and that sort of thing and we can come and grab a, a fresh fish and what have you so I think this looks fantastic and, and is usable as well. Uh, got another gate over here which the uh, villagers can so, sort of look out longingly. Not much to see right now. And then in here we've still got the, the kitchen. But what I've done is underneath here I've done the uh, two carpet trick. So hopefully that should stop the villager from trying to pathfind out of here. So that should be pretty cool. We've got to, got to get one of those. And you know, if you think you deserve it, write down in the comments down below. And then down here we have a, a brewing area, which is now up and running. So gonna show you how this works. So first of all, we're going to choose uh, an invisibility so if we have uh, golden carrots and then the fermented spider eye and we'll make a long version of that we've got our, our nether warts built up um, but one of the things we need to do is fill up our water bottle so this lamp here is saying we've got less than a double chest so yep we've got a, a few missing so what we'll do is we will fill up our inventory with a different item so to speak and then if we just fill up our water bottles 
you'll see that the uh, bottles start disappearing and that's because there's hoppers underneath the slabs that goes into a dropper elevator which then fills up our chest we've got plenty of other empty glass bottles there so we've got plenty in reserve and now if we press that we'll start the whole process so we'll see the bottles appear in here momentarily as the items come along there we go and they're going to start brewing up our invisibility potion and then when that goes in here once this gets filled up uh, it will set a, a sticky piston and observer to turn off the whole system so at the moment i've just got these filters in here just to stop uh, us producing too much because i know i need to go and get a hell of a lot more uh, ingredients to go into our potions um, but we've got got some and we're starting to, to sort of build up a collection of the ones that we use and then the ones that maybe we're not using so often uh, we can just make on a on a case-by-case -case basis rather than uh, making it in advance so that's all, all working really well and this one should be Oh no, it's a, a longer potion, so we'll just watch this uh, get done. Okay, so that's about there. And we just heard the little click of the piston to say that this is full. So I think we get one more lot of potions and then that will not produce any more. So we've got these two plus one more plus the three in the stand so that's good amount and that will just keep going now uh, or that will stop now and we can sort of request a new potion when we want it so let's uh, let's just head up say good afternoon to guy busy busy day no okay he's quite talkative sometimes uh, so that's it that is going to be it for today's episode hope you enjoyed it and hope you had a good time watching the old billy goat tavern get built and uh, let me know your thoughts on this build uh, really happy with how this has turned out but i'll see you next time on the next episode of jurassic's world bye